Welcome to creating your sanctioned tournament here on Oma.com. Today we're going to demonstrate how to create your first sanctioned tournament for the Unrivaled Tournament Series. You'll need to have already claimed your venue, so if you haven't done that yet, click the annotations on the bottom of the video or check the link in the description. So let's get started. First we'll sign in using the login button at the top right hand corner of the header bar. And you just go ahead and sign in. Now once you have logged in, you should find yourself here at the Persona page. Now the next step is click the three little lines in the upper left. We like to call this the hamburger icon to create event. Or you can go on the Persona page and hit here, create event. Click the create event. On the next window, click competition. From here you'll need to select the game for your tournament. These games are organized into four categories, tabletop, sports, esports, and miscellaneous contests. You may search for your game by typing it into the search bar up here, or you may select your game from the respective categories. Let's go ahead and choose Munchkin. If you selected an Unrivaled Sanctioned game, you'll see an option labeled Unrivaled 2017 Under Sanctioned. If the option is grayed out with red text, it's telling you where to sign up. We haven't sanctioned your venue yet. So follow the link to get your venue sanctioned for Unrivaled. So register top right corner. Now here's where you could just fill out all your basic info for your game store information. Your game name, game store phone number, and its website, and regular contact information. If the format card looks the same as all the others, you're already good to go. Just give it a click. After you, after you select your format, you'll be taken to a page with a list of venues. Since this is a sanctioned event, only sanctioned venues you own will be listed. You can use the search bar to search the venues by name, but unlike normal events, you cannot pass this step until you select a registered venue. Let's hover over the Unrivaled Game Store. Here is where you'll start filling in the information for your tournament. The name of the event is auto-generated using the title of both your game and format. You may leave it as it is, but we advise you to customize the name of your event to draw attention to potential players. I'll go ahead and get rid of this and put in something really cool. Next, you go to the calendar and pick the starting day of your event. There are arrows on top of the calendar to scroll through the months. Once you pick a day, select the time of when your event should start. So let's go choose 30th, 4 o'clock. And you can choose your minutes as well, so I'll just say 4.05. You may also ignore this step if you don't know yet when you want to hold the event and if it is listed as TBA. Be advised, until you select a time for the event, it will be listed last on Umba's event search. This will be changed as soon as you enter a date and time. If your event is expected to last more than 24 hours, you will need to check the box that says end date. And a second calendar will appear. Like the previous steps, select the end date of the events as well as the time. Be sure to check that you're in the right time zone. So when you're all finished, hit next. On this page, you will select the owner of this event. Since this is a sanctioned event, you may only choose a sanctioned venue as an owner. Once selected, click create. Even though we have just created the event, it is not public yet. You will be taken to a preview page where you can edit the information before anyone else sees it. The edit tab that automatically pops up is the information tab. Here you have the option to edit the name for the, your tournament, upload a custom banner and give it a description. When you upload a custom banner, you can change the focus point of the picture by clicking and dragging. So let's first upload a picture. Now, let's change the focus point. Clicking and dragging on the focus point banner. In the last part of this section, you may add a description of your event, which may include important information regarding the event or tournament rules. Anything that is put in the description will appear under the event details as soon as seen in the preview. There is no character limit to description, so go nuts. So, let's just throw in there a bunch of cool names. And as you can see, anything put in the description box here is put down event details. 
The date tab located in the edit column will allow you to change the date and type of the event. In the fee and bank, you can add a price pool and set your admissions fee. However, you must connect a bank account before you can set up your admissions fee and also so we can give you your money. Certain states may not have an admissions fee for their tournament due to state law. If this applies to you, Umbo will let you know. To connect your bank account, click the connect bank account button and fill out the form. For admission fees, participants can pay online with their credit cards or they can pay with cash at the venue and the TO can mark them as paid in the system. The final tab is location. This is where you may change the location of your event. You can search for another sanctioned venue in the search bar. Once finished, you will see the full preview of your event page on the left hand side. And at any time you can click save or and return to it later or you can hit publish when you're ready for the event to go public. Let's go ahead and hit publish. Publishes competition, hit OK. When, you're, when your page goes live, a pop-up window will come up asking how would you like to set up the registration. People may register up to now, soon, or later. Let's go ahead and click now. No matter the selection, you will be left on the tournament dashboard where you'll find our tournament management functionality. We'll be covering this screen in our fourth video. And there you have it. You have just created the event for the Unrivaled series. Hit share and let the world know.